Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a chatty get ready with me makeup look. Just kind of wanted the opportunity to just sit down, catch you guys up and just have a little curly chit chat get ready session. My hair is an absolute mess. It is up because I need to color it. My hands aren't matching but we're just rolling with it. So yeah, if you want to see how I go from this to this, keep on watching. All right guys, let's get started. So I'm starting off with clean skin. I'm going to start by prepping my under eye with the Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I feel like I do pretty well with my skincare routine both morning and evening, but I feel like under eye treatment is something that I kind of tend to neglect and really shouldn't <laughs> in my age especially. And then I've been loving this Charlotte Tilbury. It's like the longest names. The Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash Primer. It's kind of like a primer. It's very like dewy and glowy and the first time I tried it I was like oh no this is going to show like a ton of texture and like a ton of pores but it's not that kind of shimmer. It just gives you like a shiny like glow from within. Also at this portion of the tutorial when I'm completely like bare faced, I'm always like in the back of my mind, like playing videos that I've seen online of other YouTubers where they're starting off with bare skin and their skin like looks flawless already to begin with. And I'm always like, Oh my gosh, how does my skin compare to that? Not well. <laughs> I went for a while and did just concealer, um, kind of no foundation. I do love kind of more the warmth that foundation gives me as opposed to just concealer. So I've been doing a little bit of both, but I feel like I've definitely still toned down the like amount of product that I use. Also, I'd like to state that one hand is done with like gel polish and the other one is not. Two days ago, Adam was making dinner at the same time that I was doing my nails and then he called out that dinner was ready much earlier than I had anticipated. So I got one hand done and I'm still yet to do the second. So I wanted this video to be a little bit, you know, to like catch up with you guys and kind of chatty. So um, if I don't mention every single product that I'm using, I will absolutely list it down below in the description box as always. So if you're curious about something just and I haven't mentioned it, it'll just be there. But yeah, I love these type of videos. They're like one of my favorite to watch. But also I really just feel like I've missed you guys and I feel like more and more I feel like that. I don't know if it's a mixture of um, quarantine and kind of seeing people less. Also, like I feel like with talking to you guys on Instagram, I feel like I get more of that like in real time connection and it kind of makes me feel like I know my subscribers better. And so when I either like skip a week of doing, um, you know, like tutorials or videos or I do a video that's mainly just educational and not really talking to you guys, I really like do feel like this need to like talk to you. And even though it is like sort of a one way conversation, but to like be able to get your feedback and you know, like your responses and um, you know, basically your side of the conversation in the comment section, it does feel like you know, a friendship and a conversation. And I feel like definitely over time, I feel like I've grown really attached to you guys. And I remember like watching other YouTubers before, like I did YouTube and they would say that, it's like, is that really true? And I can definitely attest to, yes, that is definitely true. Um, I'm using this Eco Tools sponge. It was actually sent to me, but it's the most like soft, pliable, like, uh, sponge I've ever used, even more so than the actual like Beauty Blender brand. Um, 
and because it's eco tools it's like biodegradable so it's not made of like some silly harmful you know material that isn't you know recyclable so that makes me feel a lot nicer also fun fact i don't think i've ever sat down to film a makeup tutorial where i had wet my sponges and got them ready we sit down and then i realized oh they're dry and i need to go prep them so for my skin i use the kkw like skin perfecting body foundation i've been wanting to try it and last time i went to ulta um i picked it up and surprisingly i actually really really love the formulation it's not sticky um but it's not like drying i feel like i've tried some products that they're not sticky but it feels almost like drying and this one isn't um I mean, it definitely doesn't feel like it'll transfer, which is super nice. And the color payoff is incredible. I also got it like in tan, so it was like one of their darker colors because if I'm getting like a body foundation for like the tanning aspect, I'm going to go dark. So, but yeah, I used it one other time on my legs a couple weeks ago and I loved it. Hopefully I'll be matching a little bit better soon. I'm going to be going in with a Tom Ford contouring palette. I've been loving going in with a little bit of a like cream bronzer first and then kind of setting everything in with a more like powdery uh, product. So I feel like a lot is going on here at home and in our life, but at the same time, there's kind of like not much to report. <laughs> what I mean by that is if you guys have been following me, you guys know that we've been kind of on the market to find a new house, but anyone that has lived in the Bay Area or knows the Bay Area knows how difficult the market is here. One of the last places we looked at um, ended up selling for like, I think either 400 or 500,000 over asking. Um, so, it's that crazy. I was watching a Canadian YouTuber um, a couple weeks ago saying how they were like looking for a place and it had gone like sold for like over a hundred thousand. They were like so scandalized by it. I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so nice. But yeah, it's really that competitive and like people come in with all cash offers. I mean, it's just really, really hard to compete. Another thing Adam and I have been, you know, kind of really trying to figure out is like, do we want to stay in the Bay Area? Um, or, I mean, I feel like we've always kind of talked about possibly living in LA. I feel like for work, it would kind of make sense. And it's like beautiful weather. And, you know, I feel like LA is great. Despite, you know, what a lot of people say, I do like LA. Um, I don't know that I could see myself like living in LA forever if we did move. Um, I do love the Bay Area. Um, one thing that I feel like we've definitely settled on is that California is home. And I do feel like with, you know, this crazy m housing market kind of in the Bay Area, it is very tempting to, you know, take our budget <laughs> to another state. But at the end of the day, I mean, quality of life and just like lifestyle and not to say that you can't have a good quality of life in a different state just for me and adam like personally it's don't think anywhere really compares to california like i love new york and it's it's probably like one of my favorite places to visit and to be but but i absolutely could never ever live in new york just because of the weather alone. It's just like extreme winters, extreme summers. I just, no, give me like sunshine, like 80% of the year, and then give me like a cold rainy day at Christmas and like, we're good. <laughs> but I also don't want like 110 degree days. Like, you know, you kind of get in like some Texas areas or Arizona, even though like I've so dreamt of like, oh my gosh, like, the, the architecture and the landscape of like Arizona is like so cool. Like I've definitely been tempted to look on Zillow there, but I just feel like I know myself and yeah, California's home. So, so we're definitely more actively looking, especially, you know, with this 
at home kind of lockdown. We, like everyone else, I feel like are craving just more space and, you know, being inside in a condo for over a year, you know, like you definitely crave some outdoor space. Have we put in two offers or three offers total in the last two years um, and lost them? So it, it is like an emotional kind of roller coaster, the whole thing. And I've just learned that you put in an offer and you just like act like, yep, it's not yours. It's okay. <laughs> like, um, and it's pretty difficult to do, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Adam hates making big decisions. And <laughs> last time we were talking about this, he was like, have you realized like I've never made a big decision ever? Like he just overthinks all of the negatives, which I obviously do too. But once I've like done like the pros and cons kind of in my head, I create a conclusion that I stick to that. So the vibes I'm putting out into the universe is that next time, you know, we speak, I'll be able to tell you that yes, we are moving and we've found our place. By the way, this Mario palette is my new favorite obsession. It's just the formulation of the shadows. It's just, it goes on so creamy. Um, the colors are perfect. I feel like I've literally used every single color in, on this palette, which is not at all very common for me. I just love a palette that sticks to you know, a color theme rather than trying to appeal to like everything. And then they have like this glittery aqua shade that, you know, no one's ever going to use. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. I've literally used this palette probably every day for the last two months or so. But yeah, going back to the house conversation. So I think what Adam and I have decided or I think what I think is best for us and you know for now is um, more of like an investment property so that we just get more space that we're wanting but we're not like committed to the area we buy in just yet so instead of like so instead of waiting for the perfect place while we decide where exactly we want to live. Because considering like since Adam and I have been married, we've only lived in condos and apartments. Buying like a forever home, I feel like the location is a huge, huge decision. And although we've narrowed it down to California, <laughs> California is still really big. So we figured, you know, f finding a place that we'll be happy in for the next five years, so I've been using these three colors for like the crease and then using this kind of slightly darker color for just like more the outer corner with a smaller pencil brush. That seems kind of like the right thing for us to do um, for now. And then like in the next five years, really decide like where we want to kind of plant our roots um, by kind of more maybe like bigger property, an older home um, that we can kind of build on and really make our own. So that's the plan. And I do hate talking about plans that are not like fully done. And we've definitely shared, you know, a place that we looked at in the past and then didn't end up getting it. But I feel like it's also all that we've been focusing on and doing the last couple of weeks. And it feels kind of strange to not mention it when it's, you know, where a lot of our attention and focus has been on. And of course, our master class that we filmed last month. That's the other big thing we have going on now. So now I'm in the process of editing. We have so many hours of footage to edit. Um, so we're basically just trying to tackle it, you know, one video, one by one, and um, still keeping our original idea and plan to like launch in the fall. So we just figured this summer, you know, things are going to be opening back up. People are going to want to be, you know, out and having a typical summer, doing some trips and travel. So um, then I figured, you know, I feel like in the fall, that's kind of when you're 
like ready to learn and you know classes and session kind of feelings i'm excited to bring you guys more information on that i so wish i could like show you guys some of it and you know ask you already like what do you think should i add more of this should i you know take this away like how long do you want the videos to be um and at first i had thought like i want i want it to be like these really lengthy videos per chapter um and then as i was like filming and as i'm now editing and <laughs> I know like my sort of ADD, I just, I was like, who wants to sit through like a super lengthy two hour kind of class, especially as an adult. I feel like give me the information and like, let's move on with life. So my plan for now is to kind of just go with each class, like whatever feels natural for it. So if one, you know, I need to go way more in depth then it needs to be, you know, a 45 minute video, then so be it. And then if something is more simple and there's no point in, you know, going crazy elaborate on it, then a 20 minute, you know, chapter will suffice. So, so, so far, I feel like I've only edited like the promo video that we made for it, the introduction video, which is like what you will first watch before you like embark on your learning journey. And then I've also edited the first chapter. And so far I'm really satisfied with it. Like I got really giddy and excited when I edited that first actual chapter. And I was just like, oh, I'm so excited for them to see this. I'm so excited for them to, you know, just like learn and basically me giving another side of myself that I guess I don't really, you know, give on YouTube or not like another side of me, but like another level of deeper information that, you know, is not so suitable for YouTube. So yeah, I feel like it's been, you know, honestly, like a couple of years to where I feel like something new and exciting, I feel like, has happened in my you know career so really excited to be working on something and kind of be challenged once again within my career to to push myself and to give you something that i feel is of value to you so so how's this makeup looking i feel like i'm going through the motions and not well, let's just be honest that's how i do my makeup anyway um, today I was watching the video of um, Ariel, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, doing Patrick Starr's makeup. And they were talking about how like particular and how precise he is. And they were saying that it takes him 45 minutes to do a client's eyebrows. And I was just like imagining having the patience to not only do that to myself, but also as a celebrity to just to have that time. I mean... Obviously they're like doing other things and they're probably taking calls and emails and stuff like that time is not wasted, I'm sure. But like the artistry and the perfectionism, I was just like, bow down. My gosh, that's incredible. I think the most I've ever spent on my brows is maybe seven minutes. But speaking of eyebrows, I'm really, really wanting to, uh, what's it called? Laminate them? Not where you tattoo like single strands of hair on but where you like laminate them so that they kind of go straight up so that they look a little wispier i do not like that look of when they're like plastered onto your forehead and up but i do like that fluffy kind of brow look and i realized i actually have plenty of hair on my brows i just feel like they are so stubborn in the direction that they grow so laminating them would kind of like ease them. It's kind of like a um, like keratin treatment for your brows. <laughs> so because of what we've got going on, we don't really have any trips necessarily planned or, you know, kind of on the horizon. We would love to get out this summer. Um, but if you guys have any plans or, you know, any fun trips or just summer activities that you're doing, please let me know and let me live <laughs> vicariously through you. For my lips, I'm gonna be, oh, I didn't even do mascara, but 
let's move on to lips. <laughs> Please let me know what you guys think of this video. I th I'm like the worst YouTuber in like mentioning every product as I'm going, but for lips, I'm gonna be using a mixture of three things. I know it sounds a little excessive, but it's kind of been my lip routine lately. Um, so it's the NYX Lingerie Push-Up like Lip Liner. And I'm just going to kind of outline, outline the outside, obviously, the outer edge of my lips. And I feel like lately I have like a love-hate relationship with this shade. It's in the color Corset, I believe. Yes. I feel like some days it looks like a brownie and kind of shimmery and like really pretty and other days I feel like I look like a zombie in this color. So that's why I normally then go in with the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bettina. And so this one has a little bit more warmth. And then for the last step, I go in with this KKW Nude Cream Lipstick in number one. So it's like very light. Like a couple years ago, me would have loved this nude, but now I just feel like it's so new to use on its own. So I kind of just dot the center. So it creates almost like a little bit of an ombre where the lip liner looks a little darker than it is. And the reason why I like doing that is I see all these like beautiful kind of like brown lip liners. The second that I put it on myself, it just, I feel like I look like this. I feel like it's just so dark. Hydrate. Adam totally told me not to drink out of this. because He was like that glass straw is going to make such clingy sounds and it's going to be a nightmare to edit the sound but I already accidentally touched it like three times, so I felt like that was worth a sip. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. But yeah, I feel like I had so many things that I wanted to catch you guys up on. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I don't know, I feel like since quarantine, it's like if I even have one appointment during the day, it just, it seems like it's so much, like you're doing so much. And I feel like I see a lot of memes online about this so I feel like I'm not alone in this do you guys feel that like productivity or like before the pandemic you could do a million things in one day like go to a doctor's appointment go to work come home and then do laundry and do all the stuff that you know a normal day would entail um and that would just be you know a casual Tuesday and do you find it like more difficult now i don't know like i feel like that part is more difficult and like i don't know even like going out to dinner like if you like that feels like a spectacle now like as opposed to like we would do that a couple times a week and i'm using the mark jacobs mascara i actually found this i think this one was sent to me in pr i'm not sure it's just it's so cute and small and to be honest i probably wouldn't spend a ton of money on a designer mascara but i do have to say i actually really like it i like the formula i like the wand is very like fluffy so yeah it's not a bad mascara but yeah i think we're pretty finished here um sometimes like i look at my done makeup and i'm like did i do enough did i and then i'm like i'm gonna do a couple of virtual consults and then who else is gonna look at me <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to be finishing up my face with this new Clinique Moisture Surge face spray. I don't know if it's new. It's new to me. It's also a great idea to do this after you put on mascara. But yeah, here is the finished makeup result. A very realistic, everyday kind of makeup look using all of my favorite products along with some new body products. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. And like I said, I will link every product I used 
But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know what you're up to this summer, um, any new favorite products that you guys are loving that I haven't talked about and that you think I should try, or just say hi. I missed you. It was great to sit down and chat with you. And next week I should have a, a new hair video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.